fair use, fair use. Shout out to Gilly the uh, Gilly the Kid. He wants to know why do successful women who have a lot going for themselves always get with a raggedy ninja that ain't got nothing going on? Why do women, right, go their whole life, right? Mm -hmm. They do good. They go to the right schools. They graduate. They get a great job. They credit be good. They get a great apartment. Life is on their side. And then they get with a raggedy ass nigga that ain't got nothing going on. <laughs> hmm? I don't know. Hmm? And then for the next, then for the, they go like they be screaming, niggas ain't shit, niggas ain't, no, you pick bad niggas. Uh, uh -huh. You're a bad fucking picker. You got all this shit going on in life, but you want to go get with a nigga who ain't got nothing going on. Nigga that drive your car, burn the gas out your fucking car, take you to work, tear your fucking refrigerator door off the hinges. Niggas sit around all day, put dents in your fucking couches. Why did you pick him? Hmm? Why do women do that too? You did it back in the day. I wasn't shit back in the day. Either. I was confused. Fuck, she wasn't me for like, I was like, I didn't. Why do women do that? Like, fuck. Why do women, right? I was about to say. I'm like, well, I was like, Gilly, is, are you sure you ain't talking about yourself back in the day? <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> but let me let me make. I'm gonna make light of, of this because I'll, I'll say this, man. Um, uh, I already know this, especially when it pertains to my sisters we already know in our community it's like it'll be like um <laughs> it'll be a girl i'm talking about master's degree phd all that i'm talking about all that man and it's not like they'll pick a dude that's probably making a little bit less than her it's it's or a plumber or uh um say uh, uh, uh um he's a uh, um a tech worker works in it and probably makes a little bit less than her or he's a um you know a, a, a data entry analyst while she's making 100k and he's making 80k it's not that they'll pick a dude that's just straight up a bum i'm talking about straight out of prison <laughs> you'd be like you'll be like why didn't you go with the guy why don't you go with the tech worker why don't you go um with the stenog the stenographer why don't you go for that guy or and if it's not the street ninja, that you don't know where his come his money come from, it's the SoundCloud rapper, it's the unemployed dude, or the dude that's never done really anything. Uh, uh, or, and, and if it's not the, those kind of those, those kind of dudes, if it's not that, then it's either police, firefighter, or former military. <laughs> you know what I mean? Or they'll run across they'll run across a, they'll run across like uh, somebody that's training to become a doctor. And they will just not, they'll just be like, I can't wait. Or it'll be somebody that's training to become a lawyer. Somebody that's training to become a surgeon, uh, an, 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 a, a male nurse, right? It's always, it's, it's a hesit it's a hesitancy for some weird reason. I don't know what, why that is. Well, I kind of know what that, what that is. <laughs> and especially in the, in the community, I know what that is, but <laughs> you know, that's, that's kind of what, it, that's kind of what it is. But I'll, I'll let me let me let me hold on. Let me put the let me put it on me real quick before I go to the comments. Because you know people want to talk about hypergamy. I, I, hypergamy doesn't really exist in a hood. Because they'll, I'm I'm afraid to say this, but I, I I'm gonna get a lot of flag. But look, when it comes to black women, especially in the hood, even the nerdy black women, they don't go for money really. Not really. They go for the person with the best D game. And look, I I've I believed this since 2016 due to my experience, due to seeing the people that they choose. They just <laughs> the people that they get their heart broken by. I'm sorry. I've just seen too much evidence. They just go with they try to go with somebody with the best D game. That's their number. That's number one. I've li I've heard women. I've heard women of my community. <laughs> I've heard them literally say he has to have good D game. That has to be that has to be constant. That has to be he has to have that. Everything else is negotiable. I've heard I've heard women say this. I've heard multiple women say this. Right. I've heard I've heard women from I've heard mud sharks say this. <laughs> I've heard mud sharks say this, you know, so it's um, it's it's a, it's a complicated. It's not as just cutthroat because we want to just say, you know, it's, you know, uh, black women are uh, they don't they want somebody to control and this is true this is true because um, I already talked about this especially with you know when we're talking about 
the dynamics between Sierra and Russell, the dynamics between Sierra and Future. Let's take D game out of the equation, right? The reason why Sierra, got, girls like Sierra don't go out with a Russell is because they are going to have to put their fair share of work in, right? So if she's already going out with a dude that say he's a drug dealer or he's a criminal or he's sketchy in some way, she has the control over him. And on top of that, she gets all the benefits that come, all the fun time benefits that comes with dealing with a dude like that. And on top of that, all the benefit of the doubt when he eventually acts out. Then they could just say, oh, he's toxic, he's abusive. And that's something with all races. But if he's a reprehensible character already, that's an advantage on her end because she can always, when she leaves, she can always look like the victim. Now, when Sierra goes with Russell, look at how, like now, when Sierra releases these music videos about her being single and independent, her own fans have held Sierra accountable and be like, you can't make music like that anymore. You got the guy that you've been praying for. And this is why girls that's probably the main reason the over i would say the overlying reason like the d game thing that i said yes that a lot of the times that is number one which is not smart but i'll say the overlying reason is what i just said right there right there <laughs> because now when you're going out with a russell wilson or somebody similar like that say a, a guy with a decent or say a, a guy that's making more than her a guy with an actual reputable job a guy with a, a reputation to really uphold People are going to look at you and be like, okay, he's holding you up. He's doing his job. Now you got to do, people are now going to hold her feet to the fire if she fucks up, right? Because say, because now look look at it from the woman's end, lens. Say if she's going out, say, in, in, in I'm just saying in, in opposite lens. Say she finds a lawyer, right? Like that Tyler Perry movie, that woman that had the abusive hus uh, 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 fiance, the abusive fiance, right? And but he's a lawyer, such a reputable person. At the end of the day, even though he's reprehensible, he has his 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 life is pristine image is in order. So if she's facing whatever, it doesn't even have to be abusive. Whatever problems that she's complaining about the guy, people are going to ask her, wait, what do you how about what can you do? Because he has his stuff together. Right. It don't even matter if his D game is trash or whatever. What I said, it don't matter if. If he's lacking in other things, his life is in order. You're with him. Now you have to put in your fair share of work. You can't just say, oh, he's toxic. He's abuse. They're not going to they're not going to go for that. If she's going out with a, a, a I'm talking about a responsible dude that everybody knows is responsible. Everybody know that's a decent guy. You can't just you, you, you can't just leave looking like the victim. This is what Sierra's having a problem with Russell right now. She cannot leave Russell. Not right now. She can't. She there's no way that she can leave Russell. Not right now. Because they need they need to find a way for her. She needs to find a way that she could leave. You know, where she she needs to find a way where she looks like the victim when she leaves. You see, when things don't work out with her in future, we can she could just oh he's 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 future. <laughs> this is why, uh, especially in America, you'll see women, I believe in all races in my in my opinion, um, go for these drug dealers, right? It's the roller coaster. It's the ultimate roller coaster. And there's a, in America, there is a guy controlling the roller coaster. So you don't hear about a whole lot of roller coaster accidents because the guy can stop it at any time. And the person that metaphor, what I'm saying, the guy that's controlling the roller coaster is the government, the police, because at the end of the day, the drug dealer has no power over that woman. She's the responsible one. And at the end of the day, he acts out. She can call the police on him because she knows his dirt. She knows he or he doesn't have a place to stay. He doesn't have his own home or he still lives with his parents. Right. So she has the leverage over that guy, you know, especially in the community. So it's 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 a it's a deep prolonged answer, you know, to questions like that. And it, it could be a bit repetitive. That's why I try to I, this one. I kind of wanted, wanted to make light of this one, especially because Gilly, the kid, he was basically talking about himself. <laughs> you know, I know a lot of guys in Gilly's you know, position. So it's you know, it, it, it is what it is on that end.